We're here. I'm here with Jill, Tom, <laughs> and then Dumo Game Reserve, and we're going to climb the observation tower. Uh, when we got here, there was a guy who came and said we must keep a lookout because it's full of bees. So this might prove to be a very bad idea. What a cool view, eh? Check this out. The observation tower. Made it. Beautiful looking view site over the Usutu River. And the Usutu River is the border between South Africa and Mozambique. So, what a cool spot! Wow. Just take a quick look at uh, this environment we're in here. We just meandered our way through this fever tree and fig forest. Okay, so now I've just stopped in at the is a weenie hut just up this way right along the path with the assortment of dangerous animals if I encounter a crocodile on this pathway I'll consider myself quite lucky I think Little campsite in Yala. They've been loving our tents because of all this. The tree's been dropping it all day and they've basically come here just to to nibble on it. Mm -hmm. So we're basically the most popular pad in town as far as these in Yala are concerned fine by me, eh? Yeah. This is where you get your <laughs> retreats. Yeah. These are lesser striped swallows and with all the rain we've had the last while the the mud is nice and wet so they've been sitting in like the puddles of your car tracks and things like that and they obviously roll it into little balls and then they come in make these nests. That's not so rad, that's yeah. so rad. And then if you literally turn around in that tree orchid there, it's going to be impossible to see with this sort of angle, but there's a spotted eagle owl sitting on two little chicks. Not a bad reception I'd say. You hear that? 
That is the sound of the heavens opening up here in Dumo. It is coming down. Oh, it's coming through the tent. Yeah. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. Good morning, guys. And by morning, I mean six o'clock in the morning. We've been out and about for the last little while on our way down to the Nyamiti Pan here in the Ndumo Game Reserve. Because we're about to go do a guided walk, which we're both very excited for. Um, it's apparently this pan is the only one that's got uh, water in it at the moment. Although it did rain quite hard two nights ago, and we're seeing a bit more water around in general. But yeah, as far as birding goes, this one is is the one to do there. We're told, so we're super amped for that. Um, we drove through like a fig foresty section of the park couple of days ago so we're kind of heading back in that same direction so yeah we're really looking forward to it. even on the drive here we've seen a couple of interesting birds um, but yeah always when you get out on foot I think that's when everything starts to happen so so yeah pretty excited six o'clock in the morning I'm normally not this excited at this hour if there's no good waves <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. yeah there has to at least be a wave involved for me to be this amp but Okay, we'll see you in the bush. Hey, morning guys, it's pack up day at Ndumo, see Jill inside, we've had uh, rain all morning, so this is our gap, uh, it's just stopped for a little bit, so we're scrambling to get Thomas packed, so yeah, last, uh, last little couple of hours in Ndumo, off to Itala Game Reserve next, um, near Lo Loesburg, is it Loesburg? Loesburg yeah. yeah, that's right, so Looking forward to a new spot, sad to say goodbye, but uh, yeah, can't think of that now, got to make use of this gap. So we'll see you guys in Loesburg at Itala Game Reserve. Check out this spider that we found. This thing is not only massive, but check out its babies on its back. Look at that, that little dark patch, that's just... Dozens of here's little a, spiders. Here's a fork for scale. Yeah, check at that. That is a massive spider. Hey, there must be like... Oh, how many babies? At least like 50. Like 50 little spiders on there. Wow. They're all sitting still at the moment, but just now they were wriggling around. You could see each one of them moving. Oh, there she goes. Into our tent. No,